Back. Voting in Zambia's presidential elections is well underway and economic challenges will confront whoever wins the vote to become president of Africa's second largest copper producer. Well, the SABC's Vuyo Mvoko is in Lusaka. He joins me now. Vuyo, good afternoon. As with many elections around the globe these days, the economy is often at the center of campaigns. What's at stake here for Zambia's economy? Well, you would have thought that um, the election, I mean the campaigning, would center around the economy in Zambia too. But alas, that was not the case. It certainly wasn't um, the case, Devon, um, because um, a, a both front runners, if you watch, as we were watching their campaigns over the past uh, a few days and uh, having seen what they have been talking about and uh, having read what they have been talking about over the past uh, couple of months, the emphasis is on uh, people, people need food. They need jobs, and they keep it at that level. Um, they don't. The big picture has rarely uh, been there. And part of the problem we are told is that uh, there's a, there are huge differences in the two candidates. One of them is regarded as a populist candidate, whereas the other one is regarded as someone who's too close to business. And from what uh, his uh, uh, people are telling us, they have been finding it difficult to some because. Uh, 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 Hichilema uh, sounds too sophisticated, looks too sophisticated. Uh, as a result, he has sort of uh, not been gaining uh, the sort of ground he would have wanted to gain as, at grassroots level. So one of the strategies then was to talk less about the big picture or what are seen to be complicated big picture issues and to keep it at the level of you need bread, you need a job. Uh, although, I mean, those are in essence economic um, issues, but he kept them at the most basic of levels. But of course, unemployment is still like at 14%. At it is not um, um, low at all. And it gets worse as you get um, to rural areas. As we all know, I mean, the economy of this country um, has been one of the pe most uh, best performing economies over the past decade here on the continent. But over the past few years, it has lost uh, a ground quite significantly significantly but um, those issues have been less emphasized the most emphasized issues have been what generally people can call or have been termed as populist issues Devon all right let's talk about what investors are watching out for in this election I mean uh, there's this mining tax which many say has been high up on uh, the opposition's campaigning strategy uh, what is this mining tax really about here Well, it's really about it, it, at the most basic of levels. Z uh, um, Zambians are saying we have all these mining uh, interests which are exploited largely by foreigners uh, and, and, and are not to our benefit. It's about time we sort of look at beneficiation, but also look at uh, benefits that directly accrue. In other words, we must see uh, what accrues uh, from our mining, uh, from what we have under the ground accruing um, to us through roads being built, schools being built, jobs being created through such things as beneficiation and so on. But at the same time, the, the, the party that has sort of had the edge in this, the opposition, as you are saying, has sort of been careful because because once they talk more about that, then um, they sort of other things started emerging. Among those things has been some conspiracy theories. For example, a few months ago, um, it was said that um, the leader or the front runner in the, in, uh, among the opposition leaders that are contesting this election was in fact in the pockets of a big business. The Oppenheimers were, for example, uh, mentioned as people who wanted to fix this election. Of course, that was uh, a, a sort of uh, dismissed as a conspiracy theory that it had no foundation, but it did play a role in sort of strengthening um, the, 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 the ruling party's view uh, of, soft, of sort of strategy of trying to paint this guy as someone who's pro-business, who is uh, 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 looking after his own pocket, but also who is keen on promoting the interests of international business, but international business which doesn't really care about the masses in this country. So the economic debate 
it has really uh, uh, was uh, blown out of the way, so to speak. Uh, and, and, and in large part, it's because uh, the ruling party knows that it, if it connects with the uh, uh, people on the ground. Um, and it's a numbers game. Politics is a numbers game. Um, the opposition was seen to be speaking more to their like, affluent classes and less so to the basic needs of the people. So it changed the picture altogether, leading to even the opposition leader now trying to connect with the masses, trying to, to speak the sort of populist, if you like, language that the, uh, 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 the incumbent, that, in other words, the, the ruling party has been, has been speaking. Devon? All right. Thanks very much indeed. That's where we're going to have to leave it. Vuyo uh, Mvoku there in Lusaka, the uh, Zambian capital.